Hey guys, Celine here and welcome to my channel. For this video, I'm going to talk about my experience with Uber Car Share. For those who do not know, Uber Car Share used to be Car Next Door until Uber acquired the company. So how it works is that, for example, you're not using your car for a few days or for a few weeks or for a few months. So instead of just parking your car at the garage doing nothing, you might just as well rent out your car through Uber Car Share and at least you get extra box during those times that you're not using your car. So what we did is that we rented a seven-seater vehicle from Uber Car Share. We got a Volkswagen Multivan. So at first we tried to search different car rental sites for a seven-seater vehicle because my family came here to Australia to visit me and we don't have a vehicle to accommodate them. That's why we needed to search for a vehicle to accommodate everyone. And unfortunately, our budget wasn't within what most car rental companies are offering. But fortunately, I came across Uber Car Share, and that's where I found a Volkswagen Multivan. And it only costs less than 1,000 Australian dollars for 11 days. Again, less than 1,000 Australian dollars for 11 days. So obviously, we rented it out because that's what our budget can only afford. And so here it goes. Um, the dilemma here is that the booking was confirmed and we already paid the money. It was already debited from our account. And during the day that is set for us to pick up the car, of course, we went to the owner's residence to pick up the car. And then when we arrived there, the owner wasn't there and we were just waiting outside his residence. We were trying to call him up. Nobody's picking up the phone. And until maybe around an hour later, the owner arrived and he was kind of confused why we were there. Like I was with my husband and we were waiting for the car's owner. And there we saw him, he saw us, and then he was very confused, puzzled, what are we doing here? And then we were saying, we are renting your car through Uber Car Share. We saw your car and then we want to borrow it. We already paid Uber Car Share for the car rental and then he was like what i have nothing for you he didn't know that we were borrowing his car he needed to sort things out so what he did he opened his uber car share account and that's the only time that he saw the booking he was saying that he didn't receive any notifications he wasn't informed by uber that somebody's gonna rent his car and Another thing is that he already instructed Uber Car Share a year before to delist his car and that's what Uber Car Share didn't do. Well, at least that's what the owner said that he already asked Uber Car Share a year ago to delist his car from the platform, but Uber Car Share didn't delist it. That's why we were able to book it online and we were able to pay for it even though he didn't mean to rent his car out. But luckily he agreed to lend his car to us he wasn't really prepared at all so the car was kind of dirty but it's fine uh there were no issues with it uh we were able to rent it and everything was so smooth no technical mechanical failures and all everything was really okay the car was in perfect condition however what we think we did wrong is that we lost the receipts for the fuel. We loaded fuel twice to the car and we didn't have those receipts. So when we already returned the vehicle to the owner after that, uh, Uber was asking for the receipt so that we can have the remaining fuel be reimbursed to us. But since we lost the receipts, there's no reimbursement at all anymore. But obviously that's already our fault and that's not Uber car share's fault. But aside from that, I don't think there were any issues at all so I just got our total bill and then our total bill was 1,365 Australian dollars and 24 cents so 1,365 dollars and 24 cents that already covers the fuel and maintenance which is 370 dollars and 37 cents and the distance cover which is the mileage that's 80 dollars and 8 cents and then we also got a promo code so less fifty dollars so basically if i'm going to rate uber i think it's gonna be 9.5 over 10 
The 0.5 would be just reserved for Uber's failure to notify the car's owner that there is a booking. That's I think that was only the dilemma that we experienced with Uber car share because the, the, the owner wasn't informed that there's somebody renting his car but at least he allowed us to rent his car after he saw the booking in his account. So yep, that's it. I recommend Uber car share but that's just based on one experience that I have with them. So anyway, thank you for watching my vlog and I hope to see you next time here. Bye!